Okay, we are uh, just there to get started. Today's Bullet Brawl. No longer will we be watching Hikaru's match against National Master Italian Machine. We're going to start things off with a best of five against the one and only Bobby Hess. First time I've ever played a 1-0 match against Bobby Hess on a brawl. We have played, uh, we've played 1-1, I think, before. Um, <clears throat> never 1-0. So this should be Fun Town, Population Us. This should be Fun Town, Population Us right now. He's going to go after the Rook. I'm going to go after the Dark Squares. I'm going to guess that I'm probably going to fall just short of checkmating him. Yeah, that seems like, that seems like the bold prediction I would make. I'm going to guess that I'm going to fall just short of success in my life. That sounds like something I would, I would predict. So here we go. I'm going to take a whole lot of pawns, though. I'm going to take a million and a half of them, which is only a slight exaggeration. And try to keep this initiative rolling before he gets fully coordinated. Bobby Hess outrating me currently in bullet, which is not normal. Normally he and I are pretty much right there. I've, uh, I've had a little bit of struggles lately. Ooh, if I play there, he's going to play rook takes g1. Right? Uh, no, actually, if he plays rook takes g1, it's not good. So, <coughs> so, oh, but he has that. Okay, well, that wasn't good. So now I'm just sort of uh, s skating, skating by the hair on my chinny chin chin. I'm going to try to push this e pawn because what else have I got to do? I got nothing to lose, right? Nothing to lose before I lose the first game. Nothing to lose besides pride. Nothing to lose besides pride is what we got to lose here. Should be pretty fun, though. Let's get a queen just for kicks and gigs. Sort of surprise him. Haha, <laughs> no pre-move for you, Bobby Hess. You like that? Yeah, you do. Yeah, you do. No, don't take the bishop, you rotten head. He's going to mate me. I'm going to mate you. Ah. Oh. Well, that hurt. <clears throat> I feel like uh, Robert De Niro on uh, You're Gonna Meet Me. You're Gonna Mate Me. All right, so it's a best of five. As you know, that's what it normally is when we go up against a title player. That was closer than it looked. That final position doesn't, uh, doesn't do it justice. I feel like that game was a little closer than I thought it would be. Honestly, I feel like when I'm playing these title players with commentary, these days I've almost only played 1-1 one -one exclusively. So I... Uh, I kind of miss my 1-1 one -one affair, having a little bit more time. Those are my, that's usually how I like, how I like to throw down against title players these days. But uh, for now, we're going to play a little bit of a zone protection scheme. I don't even know what that means. Although that was a, that was a fancy, that was a fancy schmancy tactic by him. Hashtag unnecessary, Robert. I think you could have just taken the, uh, He's going to take there. I think he could have just taken the d5 pawn originally, but he didn't. So now we got some weirdness. Now we got some weirdness. Hmm. I guess I'll take a2 and let him take on e8 if that's what he wants. What's the, uh, what's the material situation? Does anybody even know? I don't know, sir. I certainly don't know. Oh, I missed that. I missed that. Darn it. I almost I almost feel like that decision I just made was even worse. Giving him the two bishops and the pawn was probably easier for him. So I'm going to have to pick up my game here <coughs> against Bobby Hess. All right, resigns. And this is where the comeback starts. Down 2-0. Wait, I'm still following Hikaru somehow? That was an accident. All right. All right, let's do it. Let's do it, Bobby. Uno mas. Uno mas, unless I win, then the, then the brawl continues. Let's play a Verisoft. Does he even know what the Verisoft is? Robert doesn't study openings. He kind of just sits there and says, oh, I'm a positional player. I don't need openings. That's, that's what he says to himself all day. He says, oh, I don't need this, you know. I don't need your silly openings. I'm a positional player. But okay. I mean, he's really pretty good. 
He's really a pretty good positional player. Whoa, town. I would love to do something nasty right now. Let's do it. Let's do something wicked. <clears throat> I'm going to come in there wicked hard. All right? Tommy, be careful down there. It's wicked dark down there. We'll get castled. I, I maybe should have put the knight on d6. I wasn't, I wasn't sure, honestly. How should the attack continue? I'm going to play for f4 and f5. Going to come in wicked hard and wicked fast. Tommy, play g4. You know it. You know it. Here comes the attack. <clears throat> Here comes the attack. Uh, yes, please. Wicked dark down there. It's wicked dark on the king side right now, Tommy. All right, let's get a rook on b1. Let's get a rook on the b file. Uh, should we take and bake? I don't quite know what to do here. We're coming in wicked hard. I'm going to take on g... Oh, he did it. He did it. He just said, I don't even care about what you're doing. That was a well-calculated uh, decision by him because it was a bluff by me. <laughs> and I just lost 0-3. Robert Hess takes the cake. He kicks off the bullet brawl the way every bullet brawl should be kicked off with Danny talking trash while he gets it smashed in his face by a grandmaster. I don't think, I don't think anything leaves us all feeling like we got our money's worth more than, more than seeing what we just saw there. So, um, so thank you, Bobby Hess. Although, if you're interested in going again, let's do some 1-1, one, one, shall we? Shall we do some 1-1? One, one? Is that what he wants? Does he want, uh, does he want... I've issued him a challenge for 1-1 one, one, rather than 1-0, oh, okay? Let's see. Let's see if I can do a little better with a little more time to think. He's going to say, like, Danny, this makes it easier for me because I'm the stronger player. And he might be right. He might be right. But I I don't know. I just I, I feel like I can't even handle myself right now in 1-0. He takes it early. He takes it early. He wants to simplify. Bobby Hess loves himself an endgame. Always has, always will. Always has, always will. Do I, am I worried about what you're doing right now? Should I be worried? I don't know. Maybe. Maybe I should be worried. I have a hard time knowing what to be worried about these days. Huh. Just make a big trade. I'll make a big trade with you. I'll make a big trade with you. Trade Town. Oh, it loses the exchange for me. Okay, so that was a bad idea. Good to know. Good to know that that was a terrible decision. This looks like another bad decision, right? I'm risking my back rank currently. Oh, wow. Look at him. He's putting on a show for everybody. I have to let him mate me because he's putting on a show. Look at that. I want, an, I, want a, I want another piece. I want another best of five. You're not going anywhere until you beat me 6-0, buddy. I want to see it. What are you doing with this? I, I'm not even focused on what you're doing. That's my problem. As you play these, these openings, I'm not even focused on it. You're playing this, this silly B6. What are you doing? It's like, it's like you don't even care about my feelings, Robert. It's like you don't even care about my feelings. Yes? I think that loses a piece, buddy. Hashtag miscalculation. Hashtag Danny strikes. Danny strikes back. Danny strikes back. I think so. I think Danny strikes back here today. That's the theme of our song. Uh, let me just go after it. Now defend and work our way in. Uh, okay, let's just simplify. Right? Simplification killed the cat. Just get rid of that knight. Grab the D file. Say no to counterplay. Always say no to counterplay, kids. Always say no. Just say no. Just say no to counterplay. Uh... 
Just go win the end game. Just go win the end game. He's trying his best. What's he doing? Why am I being so nervous? I have I have a one one second time control. There's not really too much to worry about here. I guess we'll go for this. We'll go for this. Bobby, 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 going for tricks, silly Bobby, tricks are for kids, let's just defend that H palm before he gets any ideas, before he gets any funny ideas for a skewer, it's called technique, it's called technique, Bobby, all right, let's do it, let's, let's get another win, let's get another win, Danny, let's, let's not play t as terrible as you played up to this point. Let's not play as terrible as you played up to this point, shall we? Okay. Let's go get a let's go get a knight on d3. Uh okay. Oh. We're halfway there. Oh. Living on a prayer, take my hands and we'll make it, I swear. Oh, living on a prayer, we're halfway there. Oh, living on a prayer, take my hands and we'll make it, I swear. Mm -hmm. Living on a prayer. I'm living on a prayer right now against Bobby. Oh, I'm halfway there. Oh, improve my nightmare-ish position. Get the rooks on the defile. Oh, position is a nightmare. We're halfway there. Oh, but he's got the bishop pair. That worries me much more than I care. Oh, living on a prayer. I'm gonna eliminate the bishop pair. Put the knight on c3 right now. If he trades, I'll be happy to simplify. Mm. Should I play knight f4? Should I take on c1? Probably take on c1 and then knight f4. Invite the uh, invite the old endgame this way. Oh, Danny, you blew it. You had a projected pass b pawn. Oh, but now it counts for nothing. Now it counts for nothing, and he smartly recognizes that your back rank is an issue. Speaking in the third person about him and he and what they are doing to me. Him and he and what they're all doing to me. Maybe I'll checkmate him with the knights. Right? Who knows? Maybe I'll go mate him with the knights. Yeah, you'd like that to work, wouldn't you, buddy? But too bad you're still lost. Oh, that's a piece, homie. You know we like it and we're gonna show you. Check. Push. Busted. If I come over, I have the knight to stop it, so he's still busted. Uh, yes, please. Oh... We got the bishop pair. 
Then we won every one of his pieces. Oh, he didn't see it coming. He didn't know that he was playing Papa Bear. Oh, living on a prayer. That's a comeback. And Honey Badger don't care. Oh, living on a prayer. Oh, I already blundered away. I already blundered away this one. Nothing like blundering away the game early and often. He who blunders early gets the worm. Strangely, that sort of works here. Uh, he's going to bring the knight in, and I'm going to be crushed. I need to get developed like yesterday. So let's let's see if he wants the other pawn. Let him take it. Let him take it. Now we can kick the pony. So he has to go to an awkward square. Or give check. That probably works for him too. Now we're going to create some freedom for our king. Right? We just went Braveheart on that. Freedom! Freedom! See how much just more fun it is to play 1-1? You know how much more interesting these games are? It's not me being a, a wimpy guy, all right? It's just it's better chess. I enjoy it. I enjoy it more, all right? Am I, oh, my God. I just blunted my queen to a night fork. Oh, my God. All right, Tommy. It's time to go find a transformer and transform this match into a victory. Whew. Best of five. This is it. The final game. The final game. For the whole thing, for all the marbles, for all the shenanigans. Why am I playing a King's Indian structure against the one and only Bobby Hess? That's a bad idea. I don't even play the King's Indian, guys. Sometimes I just do things, and then I'm like, why did you do that? You know? Like, I say it to myself, like, Dan, yo, homie, what's going on, bro? What's going on, man? I knew you were going to do it. I don't even care, dude. Give me the bishop pair all day. All day. I'll take the bishop pair all day. I'll take the bishop pair all day, all day. All day I'll take the bishop pair. Have I said that yet? I'll take it all day. All day. You know how me feels about the bishop pair. I love the bishop pair. Take my bishops and we'll make it, I swear. Open up the long diagonal. Put that pony on a dynamite square. Did you know you can sing every 80s song to the voice of Pearl Jam? Jeremy spoke in class today. Mm. Oh, right. I can take and take here. Isn't it lovely? Go win a pawn, yeah? It's lots of dark squares to give up, though. I don't like it. Ooh, you gotta be shizer in me, dude. That was, uh, that e-pawn I was not gonna take, homie. This feels real good. This feels real good. I ain't gonna lie. If I said it didn't feel good, I'd be lying to you, Billy. And I told you one thing, Billy. I ain't never gonna lie to you, all right? Who's Billy? I don't know, but I ain't gonna lie to him. Wait, should I bring the queen into b2 and trade into the end game? Am I worried about this knight g5? Yeah, 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 a little bit. Uh, fine. I don't want to trade into the endgame, but I'm going to do it. I did not want to do that. That was not on the top of my list of things I wanted to do. Ugh. Ooh. Yes, please. Yes, please. Sign me up for some of these tactics on the long diagonal. Yes, please. Sign me up for some of these. Wait, where's the where's the winning tactics? Where's the winning tactics? You shenaniganizer. Bobby Hess being a real shenaniganizer right now, if you ask me. Hmm. Hmm. He's outplaying me. He's outplaying me. I don't like it. I'm ner I'm nervous about it. Put the knight back. 
Go in here. Uh, get out a check. Oh, what was I doing? I thought he was losing the night if I did that. Uh, oh. Oh. Oh, it hurts. It hurts so bad. Oh, it hurts so bad, Tommy. Hurts so bad to lose this one. This was not an easy one to lose. <sighs> he did it. I really I really messed myself up there. I really um I really let it get away from me. Bobby you were a gentleman and a scholar. If it's okay with you, I have people to take on right now. Bullet brawls. Lots of uh, lots of members tweeting at me, all right? They want a game over here. All right. Well, um, Bobby, Bobby Hess is good. He's real good, okay? And uh, it's not every day you get a grandmaster to come on the show to start the show and take me down. Oh, he wants one more because he wants to get to 2,500. All right, fine. The match continues. I'm going to take you down, Bobby. All right? I'm going to take you down. I'm going to take you down. Uh, are you kidding me? Can we do something uh, worthwhile, please, with these openings? All right. It's a Chichillion. It's a Chichillion. Hey, did you hear about Brenda? Yeah, she's having a baby. What kind of baby is it? It's a Sicilian. It's a Sicilian. It's an open dragon. It's a, uh, it's a, uh, it's a Sicilian accelerated dragon. Yeah, she's having a, she's having a Sicilian. She's having a baby. Brenda is. Did you hear about it? Yeah, yeah, that's right. It's a Sicilian dragon. Robert Hess. I mean, you know, he's. Uh, <clears throat> some would say he's a legend. Others would say he's more than a legend, but a hero, right? Heroes never die. Wait, wait, legends. What is what does that Babe Ruth character say on the Sandlot? Something, something. Legends last forever. Heroes get remembered. Ned, legends never die. Is that it? Just remember, kid. Heroes get remembered, but legends never die. I'm pretty sure that that was a thing. Let's make him Castle Long. Because that may not be his favorite way to... Oh, if I played Rook A3, he has Queen C5. That would have been a nightmare. That would have been a real, real nightmare. What's he going to do? I don't know. I don't care about that pawn. If you want it, go get it, buddy. Oh, there you go. That's right. Run away. That's right. Run out. Hmm. I'm not sure what to do here. Now my bishop on... on uh... Man, he's totally outplaying me. Now my bishop over there seems like a, a big wasted wasted amount of space. But I do have the attack. I have something going here. There has to be something here. He's on the ropes. Come on. Come on, Bobby. Don't miss that checkmate, homie. I know you won't. I believe in you. I believe in you, Blue. He, uh, he wants me to take there. Because then he has Queen C5 check. Ugh. Oh. Try to get out. Try to get out with the king off the back rank. Seems like the best idea currently. Although it does sort of walk into this whole thing, right? Oh, wait. Can I do something here? Ugh. I wanted more. Ah. Didn't see Queen C4. I almost had him, right? That was that was uh that was that was Robert Hess on the ropes. In case you were wondering what that was, you're like, what would Robert Hess look like if he was on the ropes? That was it, right there. That's what it would look like. No, I'm kidding. And all, all, uh, all shenanigans aside, Robert and I, good friends. 
we spend too much time together these days, you know, doing Chess Center and planning the future of Chess.com's global takeover. So, um, you know, I feel like we need to give other people a chance here, Robert. We, uh, we, uh, you made it to 2,500 by giving me a public shellacking. Not playing my best chess right now, I feel personally, but, you know, maybe you feel like this is as good as I'm ever going to get anyway. It doesn't matter. Either way, a lot of people are waiting. We're going to move on, starting to take on all comers. If you're just joining the show, you missed an epic battle between me and Robert Hess. It's now your turn to get involved uh, in a bullet brawl, which takes a slightly educational turn, meaning we're gonna go, we're gonna play some bullet games, talk about some bullet games, see if we can learn anything, and um, and go from there. So, uh, gonna check in here real quick with work, make sure nothing wrong, nothing, nothing's going wrong. And we're gonna continue. Continue the show. Here we go. What challenges do we got here? We got uh, Philip PCP. We got Monkey New York City. Thick Goggles. Dragon Phoenix Slayer. Ooh, we got another title player who already wants to jump in, along with a lot of others. But let's just start taking them on. Welcome King Sing One. King Sing One. Oh, I'm white. Isn't that funny? Isn't that funny how that works, that I'm just staring at the board again? I've done that a lot lately. What is going on with that? But uh, anyway, we have a, well, we had a classical Sicilian. We were headed toward a classical Sicilian. Now we've got something something kind of funky. Probably knight to b5 is not the best way to do this, huh? Not the best work of the position, but certainly playable, I'm sure. Certainly playable, I'm sure. Uh, we'll back up. I'd like to bring my knight to c2 and play for a4. This is not the best Sicilian for him, of course. We'll talk and look at that, remind him of what he should have done differently. But uh, but the position is reaching something a little bit tricky and dynamic for him. So I'm going to go here. I have a trap if he takes on e4, which he decided not to do anyway. But if he had taken on e4, I had a trap anyway. He's playing pretty fast. What is this, 1-0? Yeah, it's one. Oh, I got to be careful. I could lose on time. All right, he goes for it. So now I'm going to remove the pony and then skewer the queen and rook. My knight guards the check, so he doesn't have any way to remove the queen with tempo. Possibly bishop to c4 was uh, was a good move there, but he did not see that. So now I will complete the skewer and execute mission number one along the plans there, and we'll back up, take a quick educational look after after this one is over. Uh, queen was hanging. Sorry, bro. Sorry, bro. Hmm. That's interesting. Oh, what am I doing? I'm going to lose on time here. There we go. Oh, there's no uh, no pop-up right now. That's interesting, so not a bad thing. But okay, what happened in this game for our friend before it got into a weird time schedule? Started with an open Sicilian, which is fine. I'm going to guess that he didn't mean to play knight to c6. There's something about the way he played the position that sort of clues me into that. Um, if I had to, if I had to put my psychic shoes on, are there such thing as psychic shoes? By the way, or are there only psychic helmets? Like, how does that work? Anyway, um, he probably played knight c6 sort of quickly in the in the heat of the moment. But given that he played g6 after bishop g5, something tells me he's a dragon player and not a classical Sicilian player. Uh, plus. Knight to c6 is the kind of move that would be a mistake because there's really no reason to play knight c6 if you've already played 2d6 in the Sicilian. There's no longer any advantages to the accelerated development of the knight coming out. So this wasn't good for him. If you if you play g6 along with the d-pawn, you know, you get these positions where, um, okay, this isolated d-pawn is, is just horrible. Knight to b5, probably not the best move. Uh, given black's positional weaknesses, I should probably just develop. Um, but... 
I went, we went in for some sort of weird Sveshnikov, where I think his position is actually totally fine. Given the time I lost with the Knights, there's a pretty good chance he already has compensation here with the Bishop pair and maybe should look to undermine things with f5, even at the cost of a pawn sack. Like here, I wonder if he considered f5, undermining the pawn on e4, pointing out the fact that I can't take it because my knight would hang. And if you eliminate the double pawns and open the bishop here, how can black really be worse in this position? I don't think so. So not the best approach by me with this knight b5 thing after he played d6. So that's a good note for us to remember. But uh, overall, uh, when, he, when he didn't try to undo the positional stuff, he was still worse for a long time. Sorry, I'm getting some sort of attack of the yawns, right? Attack of the yawn monsters. When you're in the world of like talking for a living on a broadcast, there is such thing as a yawn monster, right? <clears throat> Where all of a sudden you just get attacked by yawns and you just want to yawn the whole time. I hear that yawning is lack of oxygen to the brain, which in my case would make a lot of sense. So let's take on the next person. Philip PCP, welcome home, Slice. Welcome, welcome. But, oh, there I am waiting for the move again to be played. Hashtag not happening, Danny. Hashtag where's the coffee? Already finished it. Already finished it for today. Okay, Philip PCP is watching the broadcast right now. He's a little, uh, he's a little confused. Man, I got, I got it handed to me by Robert. Almost won that second best of five, right? Now I'm already thinking about that again. That was not the best, not the best chest. Too bad. Too bad. I need to, I need to play some bullet on my own away from the bullet brawls and get my rating back up and kind of hone in on my skills. You know, Focus Town, Population Me, bro. Um, so maybe, maybe sometime I'll do that. Uh, D5. Yep. Get that D pawn. Push it. Push it while there's a lack of development and uncoordination. Uh, uh, lack of coordination. Do I want D6? Do I want to just go attack E5? I guess I'll do that. And if he plays Bishop E6, I'll play Rook to the C file. Oh, man. There it comes again. What is going on here? I don't even know. But I don't like it. I think bishop e7 was just fine. Oh, but he wants to get rid of the knight, perhaps. Perhaps he wants to get rid of the knight. I'm going to try to risk something. No, I'm not, because if I risk that, I'll probably regret that. So I'm going to try not to risk doubling the pawns. I thought I would. I thought I might. Wish I may, wish I might risk it to get the biscuit tonight. This whole thing was a way to kind of get the the the, the knight unpinned without losing the e pawn. By the way, those weird maneuvers I did—that was kind of the whole point. Uh, so now it's now it's coming off at the hinges for old Philip. And um, the dark squares are not not a good thing. So what happened there? Um, as far as something we can learn immediately one thing you have to know is that knight f6 to defend the d-pawn is not a solution i can take d5 and i get the same thing i would get in a queen's gambit without having to risk sacrificing the pawn so you got to play e6 or or c6 first after that you decided you you didn't care right you wanted to play c5 and so maybe some of these unorthodox slightly dubious kind of queen's gambit tarashes with early c5 are your thing i don't know philip possibly um, so in that case, I won't criticize your opening too much because this is technically like playable. It's just not the best opening. And, and even in the way you did it, um, you know, there's lines that go like this where I, I give check and then you block and then I take the pawn and it's like a gambit, but it's, it's good for white. Um, so where you did it, where you, where you, you know, give me the big center, it's kind of like a Grunfeld for white, but without the risk where... In the Grunfeld, you've already got a couple more moves here. You've got the bishop on this diagonal, which is critical in terms of undermining white center. That's like what the whole plan is about. And, uh, and, and, you, and you're not as down as, as far as time goes. So here you've given white you know, control over the most critical area of the board without really any compensation. So that's why this whole um, approach in the Queen's Gambit probably wasn't the best. I don't know. This whole rook b1 thing seems kind of silly by me. I should play bishop f4 and rook c1 and go for the c file. That's what I should do. But I didn't. And got a little dubious here. I think just bishop b7 was also fine. But after you did this, I mean, I ran into some serious dysfunction. I Suddenly I wanted to like unpin. But if you take here and double my pawns and bring this knight into f4, I think I had some serious issues. That was what I calculated quickly anyway. 
So instead, I decided I would commit to this idea of unpinning the knight. But again, I can't play bishop e2 right away because you win the e4 pawn. Um, you know, there's here takes. I get the e5 pawn maybe. It's a big mess. But I decided L, no, thank you. No bueno. Um, okay, and after I got e5, you blundered there, buddy. But um, it was um, it was still still fun. The um, next challenger here, we got we got several of them lined up. Let's uh, let's let's take another break and take on a uh, another title player, national master. Can the Carol win? Uh, this could be fun. This could be fun. Uh, ha haven't played him. I don't. I don't. Have we ever played in a bullet brawl? I don't think so. So this should be a fun one. Uh, sh hopefully, hopefully it will be a fun one. Um, this is all kind of theory. This whole line is uh, is kind of theory in the Nimzo. So now we take here, we gain a tempo there, and we win that pawn, and we go there. So uh, White misplayed it a little bit. I'm not going to be able to back up and take a look at it because with a title player we normally do a best of five, but obviously something went wrong there for White as he's down a pawn and. And we're in an obstacle bishop position, right? Ooh, that is a diagonal for my pieces. I don't even know how I'm going to use it yet, but seems like it should be fun. Uh, let's go here and pin his knight and attack f4. Overprotect. Overprotect. That's a free queen. Okay. So we'll get a rematch here against Can the Carol win. Continue our best of five against title players. D4, Verisov. Oh no, we're going to transpose into some sort of Pierce perk. Pierce castles early before h6 and c5 is not a good decision by Black. Leads to these kind of positions where not not great development. Um, I want to play e6 here, but I'm not going to. Not great development and uh, a lot of danger. Danger, Will Robinson. Um, I'll take it and then play f5 right away, despite the risks that I might lose the e pawn, because I feel like if I get castled long, it shouldn't be that big of a deal. Uh, I could be wrong. I could be wrong about that. Yeah, now he's, uh, he's definitely got some ambitious, ambitious plans in mind here. Huh, I don't like what I did now all of a sudden. Um, I don't know what to do. All right, I'll go for something really wild. Go for something really wild, which doesn't seem to have a very good chance of being successful. But it's a bullet game, so I'm playing practical playing, thinking of the practical aspects as well. Uh, partly. Partly my goal. Um, now I thought maybe I could. No, I can't. Ah, so this was just a bad decision all around, huh? I can't even move the queen to a good, a good square. We'll do something stupid just to make him play a couple moves, and then we'll resign. All right. Bad game. Taking e7 after being winning out of the opening. I should have just played e6 too early. What was I thinking? I don't know. That wasn't. That wasn't right. Is he gonna? He wants to do this again, huh? Okay. We'll see if he. Improves upon the last game. I've played many, many a uh, many a Nimzo line like this. Um, we'll just develop actually.
Huh. I would like to have something really sneaky here. You know what I mean? If I move my knight, that could be a really fun queen sack to go for. Right? Could be a very, very fun queen sack to go for, but might also be unnecessary. Now I'm getting down on time. All right, we'll go for this. Not my favorite way to play chess, the way I played that. Not my favorite way to play chess. We'll trade, I guess. Freeze the back rank. We can probably push the C pawn, right? Oh no, did I just blunder again? Ugh. What am I doing here? I'm just blundering away the games. I blundered rookie eight checkmate. Ah! All right, that's it. Time to focus. Let's get it. Let's get it. I'm losing rating points like they're going out of style here. Losing rating points like they're going out of style. I'm frustrated about that last game. That was just that was just terrible. Terrible stuff. Not sure. I think knight takes was probably also fine, but I was worried about e5, so decided not to. Oops, and he has check, and that's a real uh, bummer for me. That would be a real bummer for this guy. Should I just take? Probably I should just take it. And then take there. Anyway, how's everybody else doing? Good, I hope. I should have taken with the knight. Ah, oh, come on, Danny. Come on, dude. What are you doing? I don't even know. What is, what is wrong with me? I don't know. Oh, my God. On tilt. On tilt right now. Somehow, somehow, some way, I pulled this one off. That's just like it's not even right. Not even right that I won that game. I did not deserve to win that game. Blundered into that victory. All right, we'll do this Nimzo again because it's it's not good for White. And this time, I will not blunder up two pawns in obscure bishop position.
Oops, supposed to take there first. Duh. Mm -hmm. Transposes. So whatevs. Yeah, I don't think C4 was good any of these times if I just take it. That's what he did last game. Why didn't I just take it? The knight's hanging, right? Oh, no, that's why. Well, yeah, no, but I can I can just do this still. This is still not good. Yeah, I should have done that. I should have done that last game too. Probably just take here, huh? Gobble up another pawn. Why not? Yep. That's kind of what we thought. I should probably free my back rank, huh? That would seem like the disciplined thing to do. He wants that pawn. I don't blame him. But I like my C pawn, too. Okay. I think it's just too much. I think it's just too much to allow all this. <sighs> well, okay, go for our mate. Uh, we'll just grab the rook. I'll just grab the rook. Should be good enough. That's a queen. All right, well, a closer best of five than I would have liked. Didn't do good on the last Nimzo, but we'll take it. We, we think, can the Carol Khan win? We are frustrated with ourselves, and we keep the show going. All right. Continues, continues along the line of the Verasov. It's kind of a funky position, huh? With his knight on c6 and stuff. Probably I should just take, take on g6 instead. Instead of all this, but okay. It's what's happening. E4, it's what's for dinner. Play knight E4 next, maybe. Nah, just take the pawn. Do a little dance. Give a little check. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Do a little dance. Give a little check. Get down tonight. Get down tonight. Could be our first bell ring of the day. We'll see if he wants it. We'll see if he wants that bell to be rung or if he wants to resign. He wants it. Is that really the first checkmate that's been delivered today? Wow. Either that or I'm just, just now waking up. Either way, let's continue the show. I think Hikaru has been challenging me. Does he, does he want a piece of this on, on a bullet brawl? I don't know. Let's see. Let's watch his game. Let's let him know that if he wants a piece of this, he can, he can, he's up 19-0 against Italian machine, Italian machine right now. I, I told you how I felt about that. I mean, at a certain point, I feel like, you know, someone should call the doctor, okay? Because this is sick. This is sick, all right? This is just absolutely sick. It's sick. Right? Well, um, an equal position, 
Hikaru is is just putting on the good old fashioned. I have the bishop pair grind, right? Nothing nothing too fancy. But um, if Hikaru's interested, not sure if he's watching the show. We'll watch him take care of business here. See if we can learn something. See now he simplifies because the positional advantage of the double pawns is more valuable than even the bishop pair. So Hikaru recognizes the opportunity to head to the end game with a good knight versus bad bishop, which is why he simplifies. We talk about that, right? Looking for opportunities. Looking for opportunities to, uh, to to let your advantage evolve. He doesn't sit on the bishop pair. He takes. Of course, black couldn't take with the knight because of the pawn. And so uh, he gets this end game that the knight is just going to dominate the bishop. And he's going to go on to win because of supreme light square control. That sounds like some sort of burrito from Taco Bell. Supreme light square control. If they had a supreme light square control, I might eat it. Everything else there is nasty. Could you get in trouble for making fun of fast food restaurants? I don't think you should, right? They pay lobbyists more than anyone to keep them to keep themselves rolling, right? Um, because their food is... Talk about eating things, and once it enters your intestines, it never leaves. Like, there's parts of that stuff that's never coming out of you, okay? I'm, that's just a fact. I'm here to hit you with some knowledge, all right? That's not me being like, oh, right, Danny's a little health nut. We don't want to hear it, right? Get back off with the judgments, right? That's actually true. I mean, I don't want to judge any. I mean, I've, of course, I eat fast. I've eaten it. You know, everyone has. But it's just so bad for us. we got to stop. we got to start being better and taking better care of ourselves, people. Everybody. But, uh, but yeah, this might be one that goes down in the ages right here. I mean, you've got a 20-0. Maybe after 20 games, Hikaru wants to take on somebody his own size. That's this guy. I'll play Hikaru in a 1-1. I'll get a victory. You want to bet? You want to bet I can score against him in 1-1? Who wants to bet? You do? Okay, I'm talking to myself, obviously, but I'm assuming somebody says, I do. Right? So let's do it. If Hikaru wants a piece of this, I want the whole thing. This is really kind of abusive. I mean, this is the he's he's really enjoying the grind out here. Hikaru is. It's like, man, be a little sloppier with your technique and give the kids something to something to root for. All right. He's gonna he's gonna now he's gonna drive the h5 and force the dark squares. Once they are forced on the dark squares, then he'll eventually strike with e5 and the f pawn will win the game. Ah, uh, no. Instead, he wants to create access points for the king. Even better. Even better. He wants to create access points for the king. By the way, is that king like stalemated over there? Kind of is, right? So is there some sort of trick where he can give up everybody? Ah, Hikaru says, I know it's stalemated, Danny. I saw that coming, which is exactly why I'm going for this right now. But does that allow some sort of trick with C4? Does black get a pass C pawn? No. Okay. All right, Hikaru, you want some of this? Are we in? Let's see if he wants some. If he wants them, he says he's not, it says you're not accepting challenges, buddy. Are you still playing? Did you start another game? Ah, he started another game. Okay. Well, I, I'll let the people know. Yeah, he's on Skype. He's just talking trash. Is he in the chat, too? I wouldn't know. I haven't been paying much attention, right? Uh, Hikaru says, I never listened to his feelings. I don't know. I wasn't really paying attention. But uh, if, he wants, if he wants to come, it's on. All right. He tells me to go play someone else for now. Okay. All right. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Here we go. What do we got here? We got logical nonsense. He's a good player. He's a good player. That is faux show. So this should be this should be some good games here. Let's see if we can let's see if we can make some logical sense out of this. Let's see if we can make sense of this illogicalness. Let's see if we can do something else with a pun. Let's see if we can make sense of all these logical moves. Mooha. 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 I don't even know what I'm doing right now. I'm making Dr. Evil pinky. Can I make sense of his illogical play? 
Hmm. Really? Right. Well, I'll play here now, then. If you insist. If you insist. I really just want to see Hikaru continue to... I mean, he won 20 games in a row. Now he's taking on Baja de Rosa, and I think he's... He's on one of those missions where he just, you know, he's not going to accept anything less than 3,000 in Blitz before he stops playing. You can tell when he gets that sort of gleam in his eye, right? When he gets the old gleam in his eye. Oh, wait, am I mated? Oh, my gosh, Danny, you just, you're just an idiot, bro. Is this 1-0? It is 1-0. I got to play faster. It's 1-0. 1-0, everybody. Wow, if that wasn't sloppy, then I'm your uncle. And then we know I'm not your uncle. Or do we? One chess player claiming to be people's uncles tonight on 60 Minutes. Has this chess player gone mad? Can you just go around playing chess games and claiming to be people's uncles? No, you cannot. One chess player gone mad, loses his mind, and plays a bullet simul. Will this be the last thing he ever does? Find out tonight on 60 Minutes. Who's up for the bullet simul? Who's up for it? There we go. We got Can We Do It? I'll tell you if we can do it right now. We can do it. I'm going to lose both these games, let's be honest. Right now, it's, uh, it's real. Whoa, it won't let me move. This is why it's a bad idea to play bullet simuls when you're redesigning a website. This is this is probably one of the more abusive things I've ever done to myself. Boom. We ring that bell and we focus on can we do it. I'll tell you whether or not we can do it. We can do it and we will. One man, one bullet simul, two margaritas, three bottles of water. You do the math, ask the leprechaun for the answer to the riddle. That's what just happened on Chess TV. Did this man talk about leprechauns in the middle of a chess show? It doesn't make any sense. Nobody really likes his stuff. Is this chess commentary or lunacy? Find out tonight on 60 Minutes. Find out tonight when we go undercover. Ooh, that was a nice little move right there. He's like, oh yeah. Right, and I want to, oh, he should have just taken the pawn. You got to risk it, homie. You got to risk it and grab yourself a biscuit every time there's a chance. That's a pro tip from the Bullet Brawl. Risk it or don't expect the biscuit. Uh, we'll just we'll bring more heat to the e file. Can we do it? Is just disappointed that his uh, his partner, the other person playing in the Bullet Simul, uh, messed up so bad. I'm just gonna sack the exchange for gigs. I'm going to sack the exchange, uh, give this check. Where is the win here, though? 
Oh, maybe that was a bad idea to sack, huh? It's 1-1. One, one. I forgot about that. <laughs> uh, that's funny. That is funny. Uh, go there. He just, he, he just literally made it himself. He was doing well, saw the clocks, got excited, freaked out, got his bell rung. Just like that. That's how things happen here on the Bullet Brawl. That's how things go down. Okay. That was a bullet silent victory. Come on. Come on. Stop hating. All right. We're just here to have fun. Bullet simul victory and no one even cares. Just focus on my own chess then from now on. Just focus on getting better at chess. How about that? How about that? Okay. Who am I looking to directly over my left shoulder? I don't know, but he's scary. He's angry. He's angry. He's angry. He's angry. Or is he hangry? Not eating all day. Daniel Wrench goes on tilt. Plays a bullet brawl. Hikaru Nakamura talks trash on Skype mid bullet brawl. Actually, no, he doesn't talk trash. He's actually very sweet on Skype. He's just a big sweetie. The only time he talks trash is when he's just genuinely disappointed with me. Right? That sounds like an abusive relationship, right? I, I, I always deserve it when, he, when he's mean to me. I always deserve it, okay? Hikaru is, has a right to be mean to me because I was playing bad chess moves. Kidding, though, but it's serious. He usually gets frustrated, you know, with the little things like my rook-ending technique, that kind of stuff. He's got high standards, you know? He's got high standards. That's, all I, that's the only thing I can say. But you got to respect that. Got to respect high standards. One man, two bullet brawls. 17 shots this New Year's. Will things go wild? This isn't your high school anymore. This is chess.com. I don't even know what I'm doing anymore. I'm just winning. I'm just going Charlie Sheen on this. Just winning. Winning. I'm not even that excited about it either. We'll just win this way. Could be a nipu. Oh man, I wanted Chekalino La Schlamba, but it didn't exist. Item 9 exists. Where's my checkmate? There it is. After no bells being rung. We're kind of on a roll right now. People's, people's be getting their bells rung. All right. Well, should we check in on Hikaru? Let's check in on Hikaru. We should call it like Hikaru Watch. Like all of a sudden, you know, there's like someone jumps on screen and says, you know, what are you waiting for? What does he say? Is he going to say it? He's kind of frozen. Do it! Oh, okay. I'll do it. I got it. <laughs> Uh, Hikaru, Hikaru gave up a draw. That's got to be heartbreaking. Right? He somehow gave up a draw. What happened in this game? Oh, it's over. Oh, he's playing again, though? Is he playing again? I, I can't tell. I can't tell what's going on here. Who's playing chess right now? Uh oh. That was an accident. That was an accidente. Okay, well, we're running out of time. We got to play a couple more games here. Let's take on Planar Storm. Welcome. Welcome to the party, buddy. Never played you before. All right, we got ourselves a good old-fashioned dragon. Just like Grandma used to make. A good old-fashioned dragon, just like Grandma used to make. Hmm. Hmm. It's 
actually doesn't seem like the best decision I've ever made, does it? He has knight to d5 now. Uh, awkward. Oh, he had knight d5. He didn't see it. Knight d5 would have been good. I, I wonder if I would have just played queen b7 and tried to tried to go to sack town of the e7 pawn. But as it is, I will sadly checkmate my opponent on the queen side. Sadly. There's only one way to deliver mate, and that's on A1. The only way to deliver mate. He resigned. Sorry, buddy. Sorry, homie. Oh, we got uh, we got more regulars. We got Pure Defiance joining the house. Let's do it, man. Pure Defiance. He wants a piece of this. Verisov. Verisov strikes again, now transposing into a Black Mar Demar Gambit. Verisov, now transposing in a theater near you. Uh, no thanks. I'll do that just for... Oh, yeah. Had to take E4, but I knew he was, he was in that, like, playing real fast mode. So I just went with it. Now the hinges are coming off. Faux ranges. Let's go there and stop him from getting castled. Let's do that. That sounds like a fun time. Now we're gonna we're gonna. Oh, I wanted to play knight there. Shenaniganizer. I want to play knight h5 and take on g7, and then take h6. That's gonna be the old idea. If I eliminate the g7 pawn, we take h6, hit the bishop. He forgets that his bishop is hanging, followed by the queen, and everybody's happy. All right, next. Next song. Scott, 1974. Welcome to the show, buddy. Let's keep that thing going where I play bullet simuls. I have to keep, I have to start one bullet game right after the other one. That would be fun, right? See how many I can do to end the show. If I lose a game, though, it's over. Like last time I lost to that guy, Chris Tool 2. He took me down. Took me to Chinatown, man. He smashed me. Um, so if I lose one, then it's over. But the consecutive bullet ride, the, uh, the carousel of consecutive bullet games continues as long as I'm winning. That, that'll be like a fun little contest. Um, we'll go there. For funsies. Just to show him that he was getting checkmated if he took it. That's the reason we did that. Just for just to show him that. Little trick -a -rooski. We do it for the kids. Okay? We do it all for the kids. What in the world is going on here? I... I don't even know. I mean, everybody's hanging. <laughs> this is like, this is just crazy, it's crazy town, right? Everybody's hanging. And nobody's happy about it. All right. Ooh, that's a nice little trick by him. I got I to gotta get that queen out the old-fashioned way, the slow way. Slowpoke. Slowpoke. Oh, wait, I got to start another game, right? Here we go. Next game started. But where's the game with Scott? Oh, I shouldn't have done that. I shouldn't have done that. Haha. <laughs> All right. I should have I should have won the game with Scott first. Now I've put myself in a little bit of a hole here. But that's the rule, right? I have to start a game before the other one's over? Is that fun? That sounds like a fun idea to me. 
have to start a game before the other one ends, or the other game doesn't count as a win. These are like, whoa, like, whoa, those are some new rules, Morpheus. Morpheus, I'm not the one. She told you exactly what you needed to hear. Sooner or later, you're going to learn, just as I did, that there's a difference between knowing the path and walking the path. Do you believe it now, Trinity? Do you believe it now, Trinity? Do you believe my role should have been played by Brad Pitt now, Trinity? No, Morpheus. Morpheus, no! That king side's falling apart. Captain, I, I'm going to start another game. This game is going to be over soon. Get ready to start another game. Um, let's see. Let's just inch our way forward. Inch our way forward into the uh, the checkmate. Let's take on a regular, a good old friend of the show. A good old friend of the show. And that man is Ed Vetter. Let's take on Ed Vetter. Oh, I had mate in two? Mate in three? Probably should have done that, huh? That probably would have been the smarter decision. Hashtag make good decisions. Ed Vetter. Dude, I'm playing a bullet simul. Not my fault that this game ended before the other one started. Ed Vetter's dropping the ball. It's his turn. All right, so we'll, we'll take the chance that he... Starts the game, and we'll start another game. Barbarian 22, welcome. Welcome to the first day of the rest of your life. Uh-oh, Ed Vedder abandoned it. All right, well, sorry. Sorry about that, everybody. Wow, a lot of challenges here that I've been missing. A whole lot of them. More people want a piece of the action, huh? All right. There, Barbarian22 is with us. He makes the right call. He makes the right call. Play D5. Open up. Open up the center. As is advantageous for black to do in all of these Sicilians. Pin Town, Population, White. Let's start another game before this one's over. Let's take on The Real Louder. The Real Louder. We'll see if he's paying attention to the game. Real loud. Oh, it's my move. Oh, I thought it was his move, so I was just kind of waiting. Oh, man, that just, that hurts. That hurts big, big time. Big, big time. I just cost myself a ton of time. Ah, in a bullet simul. Bad decision, Danny. All right, just win this game. All right, won the game. Oh, down 30 seconds. Don't mind if I do. I'm basically going berserk right now. I'm giving people massive time odds in these bullet games. It's crazy. I've gone ludicrous, yo. Luda Luda, right? Take that. Rewind it back. Little John got the beat to make your bullet brawl go. Take that. Rewind it back. Ludicrous got the flow to make the bullet brawl go. Take that. Rewind it back. Ursher got the voice to make the bullet brawl go. Take that. Rewind it back. Going Luda Luda. I should play Knight A5. That would have been better. Uh, make up for the last mistake? No, let's risk that he's not even going to see it coming. What is, is this? Okay, this is a 1 1 game. That sort of uh, that sort of helps. Oh, I should have castled. That's a check I'm going to regret. That's a check I am going to regret. Oh, he should have given check. Everything's working out for me. Almost like the stars are aligning. Who else we got here? We got lots of other lots of other players waiting to jump in. We will bring them on shortly. We gotta start the next game before this one's over. Or my name's not Samwise Gamgee.
Hmm. We'll take it and we'll push it. It's a lot of pass pawn. That's a whole lot of pawn right there. That is a whole lot of pawn. Uh, push? No. Uh, wait, his queen's on the diagonal? Uh, what did he just do? Uh, he just played a very good move to, to make things messy? That's what he just did. Oh, I guess we'll go for this. Ugh. I'm not even sure I like any of it. Honestly, I'm not sure I like any of this. This is just sloppy now. Oh wait, I gotta start another game or it doesn't count. Start another game. I, f I forgot that it didn't count if I don't start another game. Ah, you filthy shenaniganizer. Leave my king alone. Let my people go. What am I doing? Boom. Finally. Did it. All right. Now what happened here? What? Andre Mack aborted? <sighs> he just ruined everything. He just ruined everything. <sighs> All right. No, but seriously, that was a lot of fun. Let's see if Hikaru wants some of this. Wes running this. I don't think so. I think he's kind of in the blitz zone right now. He wants um, he wants that 3,000 in blitz. You know, you get that feeling. He gets that look in his eye, that little avatar of his, where you just know he's going to be here for a while. So if you're not doing anything with your Wednesday, I suggest you watch the greatest online blitz player of all time, which is actually true because there was no online chess, so we don't even have to have that debate of, oh, like, what happens if Fisher or them were playing online chess? Like, he is the best online chess player ever. And Magnus and them don't play enough to really be in the argument, you know? They need to play more online to show that they can compete with Hikaru's blitz skills. But anyway, he's about to go on some sort of tear through somebody. Innocent people might be harmed in the making of this uh, road to 3000 by Hikaru Nakamura. That's a fact. And I'm going to sign off now just a couple minutes early. Wish all of you, bid you all adieu. Um, love you all so much. So, so much. Happy New Year if I don't see you, okay? And if I, uh, if I don't see you, good afternoon, good evening, and good night. See you, everybody.